Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shriya Tayin, also known as Empress 1111. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my newest videos. All right, you guys, before I get into this, let me spray. I'm not gonna use the tincture bells today. I'm just gonna clear the energy with my spray. It's strong enough. <sighs> oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. I cannot wait to get this available to you. First and foremost, I do want to shout out my clients. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being patient with me. You know what, you guys? I am gonna have to turn the karmic flush and the, and the uh, workings that I do for you. Instead of 72 hours, please give me five days because here lately I've been so swamped and it has taken me literally around five days to be able to get to some of you, okay? So it's gonna have to change because of the overwhelming response and the orders that I have right now. I still gotta get some more out even today. So let's change that turnaround time for you and me both, because I like to be a person of my word. I don't want to tell you I'll be able to do something and not be able to follow through. I had a situation where I wasn't even able to get a reading out within 72 hours. I didn't get the reading out until like four, day, four days instead of, you know, just the three. And so for readings too, all, all of my work, <laughs> no matter what it is, give me five days. Okay. Because I am swamped. I not only have you guys for YouTube, but I'll have my own personal clients that come to me on a regular basis as well that are needing work done. And so I just ask that you be patient with me. And for those of you that have, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. And this work is just phenomenal. The feedback and results that I've been getting this week, it makes me want to cry. I got tears in my eyes because it's like, wow, I'm really helping people to change their lives and your lives are changing exponentially. You guys are coming into union with your divine counterparts like daily and it's just bomb. Like I'm just like totally excited that God is using me as a vessel to be able to do this for you. So thank you. Thank you for those of you that haven't purchased the service and just chiming in and commenting and sharing your energy that's good karma. Thank you for that. We need that. Okay. It's very encouraging. And then thank you for those that just sends, that sends me donations and don't purchase the service. Thank you. I appreciate that. All the love that and the support that I have received from this channel, you guys, it is just overwhelming. I have never felt so much love in this magnitude in my whole entire life. So I really appreciate you guys. You guys are just amazing in every sense of the word. Um, there is one of my clients that I want to shout out. I won't say your name. You know who you are. You are a jewel. And um, you'll get that hint by what I just said to know who you are, okay? Because it identifies with your name. But thank you for donating this person, this divine feminine, who is a male, and he's the divine feminine, has donated every single day since last week he has given me a donation every single day and every day that i wake up and i see that that donation is from him i'm like okay he just he just watched a reading i can feel it i can feel that he donates after every reading and i thank you for that that means so much to me because when i'm doing this this is truly out of a labor of love and from the bottom of my heart and to have this support and the magnitude of support that I have been receiving, it's just parallel to none. I can't compare it to anything that I have ever experienced in my life. All right, let me go ahead and call in some help, you guys, and then we'll get right into this reading. I call in all six elements. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is yud hai vah to be able to give me the information that is necessary for this reading in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future, and how we can channel our sexual energy and how it can benefit us. Okay? So it is. This reading is for those of you that are 18 years of age and over. I am going to warn you, this is a very highly 
sexually charged reading. This is a reading in 5D. I do sexual energy readings. They are one of my most popular. Those in the twin flame oracle readings are what people buy every day. Okay. So with that being said, this reading is for those of you that work already in 5D and above. And if you are chiming in and you're sensitive to sexual content and the nature of sex, then this is not your video. This reading is not for you. But for those of you that are open to your sexuality, thank you for joining me. And let's get right into this sexual energy exchange, also known as sex reading, okay? Now, crowning the reading, we have Kali, endings and beginnings. The divine masculine has been reminiscing about the past and his divine feminine, and he is experiencing a major shift in his consciousness. There is a strong sexual energy between the divine masculines and the divine feminine, the, the divine feminines in the collective. And as I'm speaking, the sacral chakra is wide open and it is very magnetized and it is causing for those that know how to work in 5D to go have sex in the astral planes, to use telepathy, to get their partners to get into a space where it's private. Now, some divine masculines haven't been using telepathy. They just been using the sexual energy and I'll get into that. But with this sexual energy, just know that it is a creative force, which allows you to reveal your super manifesting powers. And this will change your world and the lives around you as you know it. This is another reason why this sacred dance and this sacred union is very powerful. The twin flame journey is a journey within journeys, okay? It is the sacred dance of the cosmos. And when twin flames have their making love sessions, be it physical or on the astral planes of existence, the whole world grows deeper into this divine love. So don't get it twisted. Get rid of the illusion and the Maya thinking that you always have to be in the physical in order to make love. No, you can make love on the astral planes and still connect energetically. And it still raises the love in the cosmos and it raises the love and the collectives. So let's go into the reading. All right. So I pulled this energy from a, a divine masculine and what I'm, sensing is that he has suffered with this distance that has been between him and his divine counterpart. If Kelly rings a bell, please let me know because that is the name that just came to me. Now, this reading is for more than one person, but this person knows who I'm talking about. So this card the endings and the beginnings card with Kali is showing up because ending and beginning goes hand in hand. You see, in order to have a beautiful new beginning, it is usually after a painful, tumultuous, heart-wrenching ending. The divine masculine is experiencing nightmares of not being with the one that he loves. You see, it's not your typical nightmare. It is a nightmare because he's wanting to fulfill a fantasy that seems distant and far off and aloof. The divine feminine has become his beautiful nightmare. All right. And that is represented by the ace of chalices. Now, I'm going to warn you, these cards that I have laid down are very explicit in nature. And so I will not be able to show you all of the cards because of YouTube guidelines and restrictions. And I am a abiding citizen and I do acknowledge the law of the land. And so with that being said, I am not going to show you all of the cards, but I will call out what cards I am using for your, just for you to know basis. Okay. 
So with this being said, he is with this card gaining mastery over his sexual senses and urges. In times past, he will just basically sow his oats wherever he wanted and it caused more cognizant dissonance and separation between him and his beloved. In his alone time, he finds himself manipulating his phallus as he envisions his insertion into his divine feminine's deep oceans. And as his kundalini starts to rise, he connects with her energetically on the astral planes. They both come here often to keep their connection going in order to keep the eternal flames of their love burning. His divine feminine is feeling lonely, which is represented by this next card. This is the four swords. And in his mind, he always thinks when he gets to her, if I only could have got to you soon enough. So he charges at her with even more passion as he unties her clothing and he unties every knot of her heartache that is launched in her heart that has been stitched in her heart through each stroke as he pulls her closer into his arms as he goes deeper he gives and pours into her soul security and pleasures at the same time here on this plane of existence they can either create or destroy worlds together as they orbit through the cosmos in their intergalactical love, as they intertwine, it connects them heart to heart and crown to crown. They begin to enjoy the pleasantries of this sacred dance as the Kundalini starts to rise and connect with them both like a caduceus. The two become one. The two of them get to that point of where they reach the climax, which is represented by the two of wands. That means achievement. Actually, I have to turn this card that just showed. I have to turn that down. <laughs> Hopefully, I caught it in enough time to where it don't come on camera or don't stay on ca ca camera to where I get tagged. I apologize, you guys. I didn't mean for that one to happen. But anyway, so with that being said, with the two of wands, they achieve their climaxes as they both drink from each other's chalices, performing oral sex on one another. They begin to heal each other with their healing auras. Now, with the cup that I have, or the card that I have turned over, that is a very explicit card, and that is the Three of Chalices. With the Three of Chalices, this represents hands dancing and driven by love. You see, there is so much of a strong magnetism of love between the two, and this is their driving force. And it is what is keeping them both sane in this separation. The divine masculine is now recognizing that it is important to celebrate this love. You see, his divine counterpart is ready to be physical and so is he. He knows that his fantasies will be fulfilled soon enough. And that in the meantime, he cherishes each moment spent in the astral plane. And also in the dream state as well. Next you have the Seven of Swords. This represents the time past. In time past, the Divine Masculine did have multiple women. And that's the reason why you see three women here and it's in reverse. Okay. Multiple women was his weakness at one point in time. For some of you, this even is the reason for why you're in the separation in the first place. You see, he is now beginning to see that two is a company and three is a crowd. 
he is now opening himself to the possibility that even all of these women that he had, three that are represented on this card, even if he put all three of them together, they cannot amount to the one divine feminine that he loves, that he cherishes, and that he holds with the highest regard. You have the hangman. I have to turn a hangman over too. Because the hangman is explicit as well. <laughs> okay. With the hangman, you have it in reverse. That lets me know that you're coming out of the stage of feeling guilty, feeling stuck, feeling like you don't know what to do or where to go. You're not in that space anymore. You don't feel like you have to be led by your cardinal pleasures, you see. You used to lament in agrimony about what you've done to hurt your baby. And now you're starting to realize that you needed these experiences in order for you to grow, in order for you to draw strength and character, and in order for you to be the man that you are and that you are becoming. This is the evolution of your soul. There is no right. There is no wrong. And in order for you to be able to show up in the relationship, because in time past, you weren't able to come. You wasn't, you wasn't able to be present because you were beginning to identify who you were and where you were on your journey and what this journey was and what it still is. You see, gone are the days that you used to make yourself become the prisoner to your own past. You are no longer stuck moving in this stagnant in energy of stagnation, but you move forward in passion and bliss and with a heart full of love. You see, you are now thinking about your divine feminine in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. And your sexual senses are becoming more heightened by the day, and you recognize where to channel this energy at now. Okay, you are reserving all of yourself for just only her, you see. For this divine masculine that I am picking up on, he's not connected to the karmic. I'm not saying that there's no conversation or contact. I mean, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually disconnected. He is completely untied. That's why this card has shown up in this reading as a confirmation that he is unstuck. Okay, you have your last card. See what I mean about it being explicit, but this card should be okay. Um, with this card, it's the Knight of Swords. This represents the courage to act without thinking in this deck. And in this case, it actually is a good thing because in time past, the Divine Masculines, you guys were so much in your head. Oh my God, you overanalyze, overrationalize every single thing. I mean, it was too much. And now you're in a different headspace, if you know what I mean. It's a different type of energy. You're headed towards her with so much passion, so much desire, and is strong enough to make the divine feminine so weak that she drops to her knees because it is just so overwhelming when you touch her, when you look at her, when you caress her. That is at a point that you make her want to beg you to stop because all of this passion is driving her wild and you're not even in the physical yet, you see. That is how much passion and, and earth shattering and groundbreaking desire and sexual fantasy and fire that her physical body feels right now. It's so much that not even in the astral planes of existence can she even contain it all? So many of the divine masculines are even having intercourse with their divine feminine while she's away from home. And let's just say that it's in the most peculiar places too. Okay? They're not even cognizant that she's not at a place where she can fully receive it, but they give it to her anyway. They're tapping into that sexual energy. They're tuning into the frequency of her goddess essences. And they are turning her all the way on as she releases her juices from her magical kakuta. Wow. As she releases from her pools, 
As he dives deeper, he swims, he swims, and he becomes more satisfied with each stroke. Continuously meeting her there for encores and encores of heat and passionate, highly sexually charged, Karma Sutra Tantric sex. And it is amazing. Wow, the divine masculines are not holding back their sexual power at all. Oh my God. They are no hold bars when it comes to fulfilling their sexual fantasies with their one and only. They are ready to experience this again in a physical. And they realize that the divine feminine is not only an upgrade from the natural woman, which is a man with a womb, but that she is the personification of what it means to be complete and whole. She's not his one in a million. She is his once in a lifetime. And I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. You know what, you guys, you know I'm going to have an extended version to this. If you want to see me on the other side for $11.11, I, su I suggest you do it. <laughs> it's going to be wild, you guys. It's going to be even deeper than what I gave you here. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave a energy exchange donation if you feel inclined to. You can also purchase a gift from my gift registry so it can appear on the channel. I now wrap you in my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.